Edexcel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 2, October 2020, Question 12. The curve shown in Figure 3 has parametric equations x equals 6 sine t, y equals 5 sine 2t, for t between 0 and pi over 2. Now the region R, shown shaded in Figure 3, is bounded by the curve and the x-axis. We need to show that the area of R is given by the integral between 0 and pi over 2 of 60 sine t cos squared t dt. So the first thing to do is just let's just check our bounds. We want the points where it crosses the x-axis, so the points where y equals 0. We know that y equals 5 sine 2t. Well, for y to equal 0, t would have to be 0 and pi over 2, which are our original bounds. Hence, that's why the bounds on the integral are 0 and pi over 2. Now for our equation for integrating parametric equations, we're going to need dx by dt. Well, x is 6 sine t, so dx by dt is going to be 6 cos t. Now let's put all this together. Our formula is the area is the integral of y dx by dt dt. We can remember this one by just thinking those dt's would cancel each other out to give y dx like a normal integral. Obviously, we're using parametric equations here, so we're going to stick with this. Putting our y and the dx by dt in, we get the integral of 5 sine 2t times 6 cos t. Now, looking at what we're aiming for, there's no 2t's in there, so we're going to use the double angle formula on the sine 2t to give 5 times 2 sine t cos t times 6 cos t. Bringing all this together gives us the integral between 0 and pi over 2, 60 sine t cos squared t dt as required. For a part 2, hence show by algebraic integration that the area of r is exactly 20. So that hence there tells us we need to use part i where we worked out what the integral is. So we're looking for the integral between 0 and pi over 2 of 60 sine t cos squared t dt. We're going to do this by inspection by results. So we know that if we've got sine times by a power of cos, the integral has to be cos with the power upped by 1. So we're going to end up with a cos cubed t. We're then going to divide through by the new power. So 60 divided by 3 gives us 20. But also if we think if we were to differentiate cos, we'd get a negative out. So we need a negative here to cancel that out. So the integral of 60 sine t cos squared t is minus 20 cos cubed t. Still, we're doing this between pi over 2 and 0. Putting those numbers in, we get minus 20 times cos cubed pi over 2, minus, minus, so plus 20 cos cubed 0. Well, cos pi over 2 is 0, cos 0 is 1, so we've got minus 20 times 0 plus 20 times 1, which is 0 plus 20, which is 20 as required. Part of the curve is used to model the profile of a small dam, shown shaded in figure 4. Using the model, and given that x and y are in metres, the vertical wall of the dam is 4.2 metres high, and there is a horizontal walkway of width mn along the top of the dam, we need to calculate the width of the walkway. So, we know that the y-coordinate of the line mn, the walkway, is 4.2. If we can work out the x coordinates that go with that, we can work out the width. So we know that our y is 5 sine 2t, so we'll set that equal to 4.2. So sine 2t is 0.84. Inverse sine of that, 2t is equal to 0.99728. That's the one that the calculator gives. But then also by the symmetry of the sine graph, we know that the next result is going to be pi minus the 0.99728 which is 2.14431, hence t is 0.49864 and 1.07216. We can now work out the x from our parametric equation for x. So x is equal to 6 sine t. So putting our answers in gives us x values of 2.869 and 5.269. So they're the x values of m and n. So the width is 5.269 minus 2.869 which is 2.40 metres. Very important that we've got the M for the metres on there. 
getting the units correct. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.